I, yes. I thought it was way better than the Superman movies, mainly for the fact that this was a Batman movie. This wasn't really a Superman movie at all. It wasn't a Superman movie at all. But it wasn't close. anybody's movie. I just wish it was that, a trailer for the Justice League and a bad one at that. I just wish that they could remember that Bat- that Superman is DC's Captain America and he should be I don't know what to do. a happier guy, a little bit more of an optimist as opposed to always looking around like, oh, I just beat beat in my pants. Yeah, but they spent so much time, you know, like showing them floating, folding the flag. And, you know... Oh, and then, like, the cannon shells fu- yes. landing on the ground. Like, what the fuck? I know. I think Why is that in more time? Motion? It's a pretty big shell. Yeah, it's ridiculous. They kind of <laughs> spent a lot more time. So the whole, the whole start of the movie... You call that a show. <laughs> is there's this, this, you know, incident in the desert where uh, <laughs> Lois Lane's going to interview some guy, and it's a setup by Luther. Okay, so instead, Luther's men shoot everybody. <laughs> And then they blame Superman. So let me get this straight. You're blaming Superman for what? He landed, picked up a gun, and shot everybody? Yeah. That's your theory? Is well, that the guy that can melt skyscrapers well, they say, picked up a gun? They say in the, in the in the hearings later that, I guess that's retribution, they shot up all the villages, right? So the idea is, like, Except Superman... I like that they're analyzing the characters in a way that's... Where? Know, what analysis? I'm telling you. All right. That, uh, you know... Uh, there's a Superman can't be everywhere. He, there, you know, there's always been a, a God analogy with 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 Superman, right? So sure. they're, now they're taking that into the into modern times, where uh, you know, where is God when bad things happen? And there's, now they're saying that about Superman. Where is Superman when bad things? But happen? he does do the good things. He saves. Yeah, people. but he can't do everything. The villagers got murdered because he went and uh, intervened. And now, as a retribution, because he can't be everywhere at every time, people got killed. This has been done in other movies. Well, well, yeah. what movie? I, I think it's just another excuse <laughs> to blow up a lot of skyscrapers. Well, you know, a lot of that stuff and a lot of the effects, I thought were mediocre. Oh, Doomsday but was awful. I thought it looked that, like an yeah. ogre from Lord of the Rings. I thought it was uh, totally from Lord of the Rings or uh, Harry Potter, one of those yeah. old oh, bathroom yeah, yeah, thingies. Yeah. Yeah. It opened really well. I, I, I was very interested in the... There's a lot of 9-11 analogy where sure. there's a guy trapped in the building and it's going to collapse. I like the stuff where you see a fight and Bruce Wayne at the beginning is removed from it, right? And he's just seeing the guys fly around and he saw the, the eye, his eye beam kind of cut yeah. through buildings, right? Mm-hmm. I really like that effect where you're seeing it from a distance and it's shit like anybody would see if this stuff was going on. Sure. And I, I like the idea in concept that... You know, superhero battles have huge collateral damage, or can have huge collateral damage. Right. And what does that mean to everybody else? Sure, that's a great idea. Let's run with that. But, you know, if anything, after 18 months, Superman hasn't learned how to, you know, try and defuse a situation and, and help innocent people. Really? Well, no, but this is the problem. Would you go to see that movie? Yeah, but, Superman, yes. the negotiator. It's called Christopher Reeve. It's called Christopher Reeve. Reeve. It's called Christopher Reeve. <laughs> yeah, but who goes to superhero movies to hear about the collateral damage after? Well, I mean, it's a plot point, but it's not really that interesting. Like, I don't really care. I'm completely dehumanized. I, you know, they can mow down the city, and I wouldn't even notice. It's true. Yeah. I mean, so, I'm not going to a superhero movie to think, oh man, what a bitch is it going to be to rebuild this city? Well, no. Hey, listen. When Man of Steel, when we saw that, and we spent 45 minutes watching them go, his glass broke. It was like. You know, it's going to take 30 years. So this is supposed to be 18 months later. I'm sorry. Even, the, even yeah. in the Avengers, you know. Yeah, yeah. same thing. It's like, you know, it's getting destroyed. It took well, me no, five months have, to, to build, build a kitchen. Over. <laughs> what? In the Avengers? <laughs> Nowhere near as many. The, the, the guy, the thing, the, the slug or whatever was going through yeah, slicing. It did not. It, it, it did knock off care. But you never saw, like, whole buildings collapse. Yeah. yeah, that's why I see. That's the other thing is, yeah, you know what? I get the idea that maybe there is, you know, buildings being destroyed, but Zack Snyder wants to show it in excruciating detail. <laughs> and that's just, that's just sick. Story. That's sick. Mm. No, I mean, if he spent as much detail on even a the bit plot. of the story, no, but story. okay, so it would I, be okay. My perception of the plot is that this movie was about Batman trying to. It's about grown men with nego- issues. Well, it is, sure. But it's, you know, so he has his own issues. You can't get past certain things. And he was there watching uh, the city get destroyed because these aliens were just running amok without giving two shits about anybody else. Right. And Superman, in particular, this, this golden boy, 
he was doing it right there with them. And he wasn't thinking about the office towers and how many people must have been in there. And Batman was, you know, at the, at the root of Batman, he's a ground-level guy.